So welcome back to another episode of the cul-de-sac challenge la tour and we are back with another lot tour of course and this time we are with j louis 38 origin id rather j louis 38 i don't want to call you by that because that's probably not your name but anyway um i see that you got vampires and unfortunately and you got spooky stuff so unfortunately i probably will be missing quite a bit of stuff but everything else i got i am contemplating buying vampires since i was told a couple well, while well, a little bit ago, <laughs> that there is a mod that can control the vampire population. Yay! So I'm tempted to go get vampires now because I feel a little bit more confident. And you guys must love vampires. I think the majority of the houses have been decorating with them. So even though I'm not crazy about vampires in general, um, I like the, some of the stuff that it comes with. So something for me to think about. But anyway, I do want to give your lot a tour anyway so um here we go let's read the description cold sack living home number one rented by mandy k 77 a struggling artist her neighbors have kindly bought some of her arabian queen paintings wow okay number two professional couple who have strict ideas about parenting and number three the more children the better a warm and loving family thanks to samantha oh no problem <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm loving the fact that you got a storyline already. So I'm assuming this is the house with the painter. And number two and number three have bought some of her paintings. So we should see some of their her paintings in their houses, which should be awesome. So it'd be very interesting. So we can kind of go look for those and check those out. So I'm going to place the lot and I will be right back. All right, guys. Unfortunately, it says the seven build mode items have been removed, but three of them have been substituted. So thankfully, I'm not missing too much. I'm thinking probably it's like paintings or something like that because normally when it's just a little bit i know you guys like someone had said oh i already see what's going on back there i love it ah! okay anyways i know someone um some of you guys have been using some of the vampire stuff it's probably more so for like cracks or uh water or something like that maybe perhaps i don't know i'm speculating so you could tell me down in the comment box like what it is i'm missing but i'm checking out this little party area right here and i'm loving it but let's go check out house number one this is the artist and we're gonna go check out and see what she got going on so let's get on up in here and oh my gosh i see some of her paintings on the wall is this her oh <gasps> wait what so are you telling me that she painted this painting right here it says large painting from reference so how in the world how in the world did you do that where she painted like the face and then some of the clothing oh my gosh that is beautiful I wish that there was a way I could keep this. Like, can I save it and put this in my pot? Oh, I can't put it in my inventory, but will it stay with my girl is the question. Wow, that is beautiful. So this is a struggling artist, but you know what? Her paintings are worth a lot. I mean, we're talking about 1337, 2108, and 1375, and they're masterpieces. Like, this is a masterpiece. That's excellent, and that's excellent. Like, are you serious? Wow. Okay, I've got to get a picture of these because, y'all, that is beautiful. I don't even know how you did it, but I'm impressed. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm so shocked right now. So you said she's a struggling painter. Like I said, I see she's doing very well for herself. Um, I think you said she was renting out this house. So I guess that would explain um, her renting it. Oh, is she working on this one next? Just the eye? Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta put it back. I don't wanna mess up the, uh, the wall, but oh my, look at this. I am shocked right now. That is gorgeous. I, you know, I've played around with the painting skill with my Get to Work series like a long time ago. And I know you could paint from reference, but I've never seen you be able to take like close up body parts like that and do it. So I'm going to have to play around with that. But that right there is beautiful. Is this a painting too? Medium painting from reference. Okay. And then this one too, medium painting from reference. Wow. So she has all her paintings around here. She should totally open up a gallery. These are beautiful. Anyway, so you go into her kitchen and I can see again the struggle a little bit with the, the starter appliances and stuff like that. But it's still very homely. I still love the layout of it. It's very nice. I don't know what I'm missing. I might be missing some stuff on the wall since it said... What it said, seven, but three were substituted. So I don't know what that is. But anyway, <laughs> then we go in here and we have her office. Is this another painting by her? Wow. This is going to be so much fun to look at all these different little paintings and stuff. Is it not? Like, hello. <laughs> 
<laughs> to kind of like get an idea of what her paint. Oh, look at this room. This is adorable with the yellow and the blue polka dot on the wall. And he has his own desk and he has his own little toys and toy chest. And not very much in his room, but I understand why. Because his mom is struggling. She's like trying to make ends meet. And probably put him in this really nice neighborhood so he could grow up in a, you know, in a nice neighborhood. And probably be around nice people and what have you. So love this bathroom though. Even though it's simple, I love the floor with this uh, wallpaper. That's a really good combination there. And then we go into the into the master bedroom here. And we have these same paintings. We got her lips, her eyes. Oh my goodness. I wonder if you could size those up. Can you imagine though? Because this one right here is so intense to me. Because her eyes and everything, it just looks like she's speaking to you. Like, you know, it's just like, hello. <laughs> it's friendly, it's endearing, but it's like, it's kind of powerful. You know, like you could really probably like put some deep meat into that. But anyway, here's her uh, bedroom. And again, she got her closet, her little dresser and everything. Just super simple. But the fact that she's like working, she's working, y'all. She's working. She's got stuff going on. I am so impressed by these paintings. Wow. And then out here, she's nothing right out here, but like I said, we know she's kind of struggling, so she doesn't have very much. But what she does have, she definitely puts her heart and soul into it, and I can totally see that. So that makes it all the more beautiful, in my opinion. So very, very nice. I am shocked. Okay, so let's go check out the other paintings. Did she put anything over here? Uh, no, but oh gosh, is this supposed to be somewhere, y'all? Is this supposed to be somewhere? Hold on, let's see. Oh, it's a painting. But where is this about? What, y'all? Seriously, what? Unless there was something here, um, why is this stuff randomly on the floor? Oh gosh. Ah, oh, the struggles, the struggles. And I actually did put. Oh, you know what? Let me do it again. But I did put move objects on earlier. I did. I really did. I did it earlier. Come on, let's do it now. Okay, BB dot move objects on, so we can make sure. Did I do it? I don't think I did it, y'all. Let's try it. Let's double check. BB.move objects on. All right. So it says it's on. So I thought I put it on earlier, but we'll be ready for next time. So anyway, let's go to house number two. Again, this is another family uh, that... I'm assuming has bought some of her paintings. I guess we're about to go in and check it out. So they have like a little seating area out here. Lots and lots of seating areas. They have a planter box out here, which is really cool. I like that idea. Another planter box out there that's kind of overgrown, but I love it. I love that idea of the overgrown planter boxes. That is really cool. Anyway, let's go inside and check it out. So, we, oh, oh. <laughs> that completely caught me off guard. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Look at the weight. Look how the color bounces. Like this color bounces off that whole little situation. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. This is like a whole artsy area. Like their art is gardening. Gardening. Like look how look how different that is. It's like a built-in with a shelf. And then you put somehow you put a sharp corner right here. Okay, and then you put a planner on the inside of it. Oh my gosh. That is insane. I love that. I love this. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my God. Y'all, I am so glad. I know I said this like a couple of episodes ago, but I'm so glad I didn't have to grade this. Like, I not grade, but I'm glad I didn't have to like choose like my favorite for that gay pet giveaway. Y'all all, all would have got one. <laughs> Like if there was enough money in my pockets, you all would have gotten one. Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now? Y'all, should I do another game pack giveaway? Because y'all stuff has been on point. Y'all got to let me know in the comment box. And if I do, who, who? Because I can't even do it based on my favorite because there's no, there's no way. Wait. Oh, wait. You put a loft up here? Are you kidding me? Wait, wait, is that supposed to be like that? Wait, y'all, wait, 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 I'm so glad I don't have face cam on right now because y'all probably see my face like, like I literally just gasped for air. I am shocked, shocked. I'm going to do tab mode right now because I, I, I can't right now. I can't. Um, I think this is a loft up there. I think it is. Either that. 
I don't know what to expect. Um, okay. So you guys tell me in the comment box, what, what is that up there? You got a high chair over here. You got like a little seating area right here for the family to come eat and everything. And then you got these little shelves, these little built-in shelves for like some books and stuff. And then we come over here and it looks like to me that that's a staircase up there. Does that not look like that's a staircase going upstairs, but not upstairs like how you're thinking? Does that not look like a staircase? Are you kidding me right now? Is it in the right spot? Did I mess it up by not putting... I could have swore I had move objects on though because I started my game and move objects on. I don't understand. Oh my gosh. How did you do this? Look, these are stairs, y'all. Look, I'm going up the stairs. Look. There's like a little lofty area up here. This is where mommy and daddy go get their drink on and they hide from the kids. <laughs> Look how cool that is. How did you do this? Okay. 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 Let me go down. Let me go down. Let, let's go down. Let's go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Is this like a platform? What is this? What is this? What? What is? Okay. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Okay. What is this? Seriously. And then you put the built-in pillars through it. That is insane. I am so impressed right now. I don't even know how you did it. You gotta tell me in the comment box how you did it, cause I, 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 I am, I am literally at a loss for words right now. I just gotta get out of there, cause I'm gonna spend the next thirty minutes in there just looking, trying to figure out how in the world you did that. <laughs> like for real, I am going to be in there for thirty doggone minutes trying to figure out how you did that. I'm not gonna do it anymore. Anyway, bathroom, shocked, wow, appalled. I'm just amazed. All of the above. Then you got your, oh, she bought one of the paintings. There's one of the paintings from the artist on the other side. Man, these paintings are worth a lot of money. She did really good, though, because it's like the perfect angle, the perfect cut. You know, it's just, it's perfect. That painting is perfect. Like, for real, I put that in my house in real life, y'all. Like, I'm not kidding you. Um, I don't know if I could take these paintings and put it in my girl pocket. And whenever I play with her, she's going to decorate her house with them. Like, I'm not kidding you. If she could keep them in her pocket and it'll be part of her her gallery, I mean, like part of her inventory, that'll be beautiful. Anyway, there's the office. And then we have the other bedroom in here. That's so nice that, like in real life, that'd be nice if they support their neighbor like that. I love neighborhoods where you could get support from your neighbors, you know. And I want to say a couple months ago, I kind of saved my my neighbor's dog for them. And they have yet to come over and tell me thank you. They have yet to say, you know, we appreciate it. And it's a crazy story. And I know this has nothing to do with the lot tour. But, you know, I talk to you guys like y'all my people, right? So we just we just gonna talk. So long story short, the dog got out the house and I let my dog out. I have a Shih Tzu. He's 13, about to be 14 this year. So he's old. I love this floor, by the way, this carpet, this rug. This looks really good with this floor, this uh, bed. But anyway, he's 13, about to be 14. And um, in November, he'll be 14. So, oh, you utilize the space underneath the stairs and put a built-in bathroom, a built-in shower. Love that. Love it. And anyways, I had let him out. He potties in the front because we... Our house is three stories, but it's on a, it's not on a, it's like on a, uh, it's hard to explain. Like from the front, it looks like two stories, but from the back, the lot goes downward because we're like on an incline. So on the back it is three stories, but on the front is two stories. So our basement has like outdoor access, if that makes any sense, which it's like another floor. I don't even know if you consider it a basement per se, but um, I know it's considered one, but it's not underground, if that makes any sense. So anyway, he's so old, he can't go down the main floor, which is technically the second level. He can't go down the stairs in the backyard to go use the bathroom in the backyard. So we let him out in the front because it's just flat. You just just walk out and boom, you're in the front yard. So we let him out in the front. And um, I love this floor, this wall color. Oh, here's more of the neighbor's paintings, right? Oh, these are so pretty. Golly, those are pretty. Um, anyway, that was nice that they did that, though. They bought those from her. But anyway, so long story short, I let him out and the dog was like running behind my dog. And my, you know, he's old and he thinks he's human half the time. So he doesn't really play with other dogs. So he kind of was just like freaked out, like, why are you following me around? And so I saw the dog. Oh, my goodness. They have a slide in the house. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Go slide, Samantha. Go slide, girl. Go slide. Oh, my goodness. This is so cool. This is a cool parent. Oh, look how. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. Look at this. Look how cool that is. Anyway, so the dog was running around wild. And you could tell it was like a little puppy. Maybe like, I mean, it was old enough where it wasn't like puppy, but it was. Oh, my. Look at this, y'all. 
This is insane. I'm sorry. I keep getting lost track with my story. But um, long story short, uh, so the dog was outside. I was like, let me get the dog. And I knew the dog belonged to them because I could see the dog from the backyard all the time. They always had the dog out. Samantha, really, girl? That's like the second time you've embarrassed me. The second time. Look at the grass on the wall, too. I mean, on the floor, y'all. The grass, uh, the grass flooring. <laughs> I love how you did these lights like it looks like they're on the ocean with the wave and you paired it up with the um with the with these uh these sailboats or whatever. But anyway, so long story short, I can't get my thoughts together because this is beautiful. I love this so far. Um oh look at this bedroom. Cute. Oh my and then look you use these as nightstands on the side. I love that idea. So cute. That's a really good idea. But using these as nightstands on the side. Isn't that a good idea, y'all? Oh my gosh. Um, anyway, so I grab the dog, go knock on the door. Nobody's answering. The dog is running around and cars are like driving down the street. So the dog was not paying attention to the cars. I like had to flag down three cars and stop them from speeding because the dog was jetting across and I'm like, and I have my two year old son in my hand. I'm running across the street trying to catch this dog. So finally I was like, okay, I'm going to put the dog in the backyard. And then in the process in our backyard or just somewhere in our fenced in area. So he can't get, she can't get out. I'm sorry. It was a girl. Her name is Luna. Anyway. So love this beautiful i like that you did them like a little kitty bathroom right here but anyway so i went to go put her in the backyard and i'm walking back in front of their house the garage is up and their front door in the garage is up so i hate to admit this but i get a little skeptical i watch too much id i watch too much when nancy grace used to be on tv i watch too much of it so my immediately i was like okay their doors wide open their garage is open like is someone hurt did something happen like is the the mom or the dad having a heart attack and the dog came out and is trying to warn me i was thinking all sorts of stuff so i sat there for a little bit and i hollered and then i saw the window was open too so i'm like hollering in the house like hey it's your neighbor hello is anybody there blah 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 nothing nothing so i call my husband and i'm like uh this is so cute i love how you did this floor this is adorable. Anyway, I call my husband and I'm just like, hey, this is what's going on. Do you think I should call the police? Because we've been having issues in the neighborhood. Not Thankfully, not in our part of the neighborhood, but we're like a huge neighborhood with a bunch of little neighborhoods inside of it. So our little neighborhood, we haven't had any thefts or anything like that, but we have had issues in neighboring neighborhoods. So my thought was, did someone break in the house? And they made a mistake and let the dog out. So maybe, oh, you put lily pads in the lake. Oh my gosh. So cute so cute anyway so that was my thing is like sh should i call the police so he was like yeah i think you should call the police and so i didn't call the emergency hotline i call i didn't call like 911 i called the little emergency hotline to say hey this is what's going on you know what do you think and they were like we'll send somebody out and they did so lo and behold nobody was at home they made a mistake and left the door open the policeman thankfully walked around did a perimeter check closed everything up and right when he was leaving out the, the son pulled up and was like, oh, you know, what's wrong, officer? Da, da, da. Look how these stairs go into the pool. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? This is awesome. And they could come over here and have like a whole party over here. And it looks like they're within the pool compounds. Like, look at this. I'm going to have to see this in person. Because you got the waterfowls and the lights behind there. And then you have this frog. And I can hear birds in the background. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful pool. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so the policeman was like, you know, I think that was really nice that you called because, you know, we need more neighbors like you. And I'm saying all that to say with that story, to say that it does take when you have neighbors and we all have a common interest to keep our neighborhood safe or to look after one each other's, you know, one another's kids. Like if I'm standing outside and I see kids and their parents aren't outside, I'm immediately watching those kids. I'm immediately taking note of who's driving by, if the kids are running in the street, you know, if what's going on. I'm just immediately taking note because I'm out there. I'm an adult, so I'm just going to make sure the kids are safe. And some people are, 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 you know, they're like, and they stay in their little lane, you know, and I felt like with that situation, I could have totally saw the dog. I just been like, whatever, came inside and brought my dog inside and just called it a day. But I didn't. I immediately was like, no, I'm going to see if I can see, figure out what's going on. And, you know, did all that. The policeman had come complimenting me on it saying, hey, we need more neighbors like you. It was nice that you took initiative, blah, blah, blah. And to this day, y'all, that was months ago. I have seen them outside. They don't wave. They don't say nothing. And I don't. And I know I didn't get them in trouble per se. At least I don't think I did. You guys got to tell me down in the comment box. I don't think I got them in trouble, you know, because it was like it was a, a welfare check type situation. But I saved your dog. Like your dog could have ran away. Somebody could have took her. She could have got hit by a car. And I mean, it was like an hour and a half had passed. Like I had the dog in my possession almost two hours. Like no lie. And they never came by and said, thank you. They never said anything. They grabbed the dog and went on about their business. And I was just like, wow. So 
saying all that to say the fact that this family, and I know this is fictional, this is just a game, but the fact that you represented the family that as, hey, this is a neighborhood, this lady is struggling, she's selling her paintings, let's buy them. That just is reminiscent of what I would want to live in as far as a neighborhood goes. Like, let's take care of each other. Like, no, we don't have to be best friends, but if I see you're selling paintings and I know you need a little extra cash, let me hook you up, you know, or your kids are outside playing, let me watch over your kids as I'm watching mine, you know, stuff like that. I just feel like it's important. So, it's funny that that whole situation reminded me of that story, but it's true. Like I would want to people to be caring of one another. I just feel like the world needs more caring people. And that's, that's what's kind of endearing about this whole backstory about them buying her paintings is because it's kind of endearing. And oh my gosh, oh my goodness, how in the world did you do this? And again, red, black, and white, you guys know my heart. <laughs> no lie. You know my heart, but I don't know how you did this. I have no clue. But you have a whole shelf going across and then you have these separators and that is beautiful. Y'all, look at this. I don't even know what to say, but that is crazy. That is insane. All right. Oh, golly. Then you got like a little seating area table back here. And I talked so much. I didn't even narrate what I did, I guess, to a degree. But anyway, we got like a little dining room and the little half walls to separate the dining from the, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm probably missing stuff in here. I know I'm missing stuff in here. So we'll just ignore that little area. And then here we go with the little kitchen, which again, it's beautiful. Golly. Okay, so I can say so far, my favorite part of your lot so far is definitely this little area. Um, the little, well, there's a handful of good things about, about your lot. But definitely I love how innovative this looks. And then the fact that you did the little paintings in the different houses. I don't know, that just that's really touching me right now. I don't know why. And I think it's because I feel that way. I literally feel that way. That I'm going to help out my people. You know, whether it's my neighbors, just people that I share like a common interest with. I'm going to help you guys out. You know, I'm just, I'm just going to do that. But anyway. Anyway, love this built-in bookshelf from wall to floor. Oh my gosh. And then you got like this little seating area and a desk. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Okay, let's go upstairs. Golly, you have definitely put some work. You have put in some work. So there's no floor up here. So I'm imagining that's what I'm missing maybe from the vampire pack. Oh. Uh, but hopefully soon, very soon, I will have the vampire pack. So, okay. Wow. You put these up top. So it looks like a whole built-in situation. Big old huge bed. Love it. Bathroom here. Love it. I talk so much now. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> A little two kids bed. So you said this one was the more the merrier with the kids. I could totally see that. They got two kids in here. I love that. I love their wall and their floor. Well, not their floor. The wall and this little uh, wood paneling thingy. That's really cute. Really nice. I love this wallpaper already. Then we have, oh, I like this. The way you did this back area with this tiled bottom, the tiled floor with the tiled wall love 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 all right and then let's go into mom and dad now i haven't seen any of the, her paintings in their house but uh they must be into art no i'm sorry music i said art music they got their music stuff on the floor and then this pink and black is so pretty with the little vanity and this chair is so pretty oh my gosh i gotta get a picture of this this is adorable golly you did such a good job my girl has to use the bathroom um so and then we got more painting wall uh, music stuff over here and then ooh, i love how you did this little built-in right here like a little circular vanity very nice like this wallpaper though y'all i'm eyeing it where did this wallpaper come from so i'm assuming this is i don't know why i'm getting the vibe like this is a ladies room like it's a single mom's room and she owns this house with her kids but um, I know you said the more the merrier, so I'm imagining it's a family, like a mom and dad situation, but maybe not. Maybe it's just a single mom and she has three boys. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? She has three boys, but this is beautiful. Wow. You did a great job. You did an awesome job. Like all this imagination with this stuff. All I gotta say is definitely got me inspired. Definitely has me inspired. So thank you so much for sharing that, especially the little, the little thought that you put with this house and their paintings and sprinkling it in the other houses. So I think that's really beautiful. So anyway, 
Wow, I'm like, I'm touched right now. I'm touched in my heart. You guys have no idea. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comment box down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I kind of went off on a tangent, but you know, I just, I speak my heart sometimes and I know I get criticized for talking too much, but you know, it, it's a method to my madness, best believe. So just take it or leave it at this point. But I do appreciate you guys who stuck through this episode. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.